Hi, welcome back. This is day five of multi-step equations. This is our last day, and today we're going to introduce what to do when there's a fraction in your equation. So remember with equations, we're still trying to get x by itself by eliminating terms using the inverse operation. And the inverse operations are plus and minus are inverse operations of each other, and multiplying and dividing are inverse operations of each other as well. So let's look at an example of what we're talking about here. So in this case, we've got half of x minus 3 equals 2. If we want to get rid of the fraction, there's something we can do. You could solve it without getting rid of the fraction, but in my experience, most people don't really love fractions. So let's eliminate the fraction. We're going to multiply the entire equation by the denominator. So we're going to times everything by 2. When you multiply a fraction by its denominator, the result will be whatever the numerator is. In this case, it's 1. So 2 times 1 half is equal to 1. So we're left with 1x. Okay, that was the first one we did. Now we have to multiply 2 times negative 3. A negative times a positive is a negative, and 2 times 3 is 6. And then we have to multiply way over here. 2 times 2 is 4. Now we have an equation that is something that looks a lot more similar to things we've seen, and it's easier for us to solve. You might just be able to figure it out with mental math, something minus 6 equals 4. But if you just want to be sure, you can add 6 to both sides. That eliminates our negative 6, and we have x left. And then over here, it's 4 plus 6, which equals 10. Half of 10 is 5. 5 minus 3 is 2. So that works out. That was correct. Okay. What about if there's not a 1 on the top of the fraction? So it will be slightly different. So we still want to multiply the whole equation by the denominator. This way... When you do that, you're going to get, when you multiply the fraction by the denominator, you're going to get a whole number. So 3 times 2 thirds is 2. So we have 2x. Then we have to, just to balance everything out, we have to do 3 times 4, which is 12, and 3 times 16. Okay, so 3 times 16 is 48. And then the one that we need to eliminate next is this plus 12. So we subtract 12 from both sides. We get 2x equals 36. And then we're going to divide both sides by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we have x left by itself. And then 36 divided by 2 is 18. Okay. So that's how that works. Um, that's what you'll be practicing on today's lesson. And um, if, you, if you forget how to do it or it doesn't make sense, remember to come back to this. The big thing to remember here, there's two things. Two. One of them is to multiply the three times every term in the equation. You can't just skip over one of them. It would make it all out of balance. And anytime you multiply a fraction by its denominator, the result or the answer will be the numerator. That's just something to remember and keep in your brain. Okay, so good luck out there and we'll talk to you on a future lesson. Bye!